you CCC friends, it's Miss Hannah. Happy Tasty Tuesday. So today I'm going to show you how to make energy bites. Now we make these a lot in my house because they are delicious. They're quick and easy to make and they're easy to customize based on what you like and what you have in your house. So I will post the recipe below, but along the way as I make this, I'll show you some different things that you can change in and out depending on what you have. So first you're going to need a big bowl and then a spatula, something to stir with. All right, so you need one cup of oats. Now I'm gonna use old fashioned rolled oats. You can also use quick oats if that's what you have. So we'll do a cup of oats, pour that in there. Then you need peanut butter. And if you don't have peanut butter, do almond butter, sun butter, whatever you have at your house. So for that, we're going to need a half a cup of peanut butter. We got my sticky peanut butter in there and I'll scrape it into our bowl all right and then you need about two-thirds a cup of coconut if you don't like coconut then just add a little bit more oats instead I'll put that in there now I like to add some flaxseed um, it adds a lot of good healthy fats and fiber. And again, if you don't have that or you don't like it, no problem. Just add a few more oats to it. So for this, um, we're going to do about half a cup. So I'll pour it in. And just remember, this is great for kids to get to do. Um, because we're not going to be baking it, it really doesn't matter if the measurements are exact. Um, so as they... They get to practice um, pouring things in and, and measuring. We've got about half a cup of flaxseed. All right, and then you need some honey. So we're gonna do a third cup of honey. You can also use agave, uh, maple syrup, something sticky. So we'll pour our third cup of honey in here. Get it all out. All right, and then, like I said, you get to customize these. So um, you could use some different kinds of dried fruit, raisins, cranberries, dried raisins. Uh, you can use some nuts. You can use chocolate chips, butterscotch chips. Um, today, I'm going to be using some pecans, and I also have some chocolate chips down in there. Um, it's best if you can use the mini chocolate chips. I didn't have any. Like I said, this is a very customizable recipe. So I just chopped up some of my bigger chocolate chips to make them a little bit smaller. And I chopped up some pecans. So use whatever kind of nuts or, or chips that you want. So then we have our bowl here and we're just going to stir it around. And this is gonna be a really sticky, sticky mixture. Um, so something that I really like to do with it is stick it in the fridge for about 15 to 30 minutes or so and that makes it a little bit harder um, and it will make it a little bit easier to stir. So it's kind of coming together here. Um, and then you can get out a baking sheet or something to put these on. Like I said, we don't actually bake them, but we're going to roll them into little balls still pretty sticky here. All right. It's looking good. Kind of looks like cookie dough, actually. Kind of tastes like it, too. It's so good. Um, and I like keeping them in the fridge as a snack if I'm kind of hungry, you know, after a walk or um, just something to munch on. All right. So, again, this is going to be really sticky. I like putting it in the fridge, but we won't wait for that. So you can, if you've washed your hands, you can dig in here and just get kind of a clump of it and squeeze it together and roll it until you have a ball. You can make them really big, you could make them really small. Put them on a cookie sheet and let them harden um, in the fridge a little bit. It'll be a little easier to eat. And that is your energy bite. So you can see I've got a whole lot of dough in there. Got a lot of energy bites to make. Um, I hope you guys enjoy this. It's a lot of fun to get sticky and messy. Enjoy your tasty Tuesday. Can't wait to see what you all come up with.